Welcome to another edition of the Entertainment Corner. I'm Paul Ortiz and thanks for joining us today. We're in beautiful Costa Mesa at the Segerstrom Center for the Arts and joining us now is Terry Dwyer, the president of the Segerstrom Center for the Arts. Thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Paul. I can't believe it's the 30th anniversary already. We'll be celebrating that one in September. I know. It's, a, it's an amazing legacy for Orange right. County and it's been so thrilling to be part of presenting so many great productions on right. our stages. Actually a big year for the center and for the hall because the hall is celebrating 10 years old. That's now. right. It's That's amazing. Right. Time goes by fast, doesn't it? Time goes by fast. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the 2016-2017 Broadway series. Once again, you've brought some wonderful performances. And the first one is going to be beautiful. This is the Carol King musical, and that's going to be in October, October 4th through the 16th. That's right. We're, we are so lucky to get this award-winning production in Orange County so quickly. It has so many great songs written by Carol King, so many songs that people will remember from her landmark album, Tapestry, you know, You're Beautiful, and uh, One Fine Day, one, right? and all those great, great yeah. songs. Songs. Yeah. People will be singing throughout. It's Absolutely. going to be a great, great night in the theater. That sounds like a lot of fun. You actually have Mamma Mia following that as well. Another great time, like you just said, people in the theater are going to be, you know, singing along with a lot of these songs and, and probably dancing in the aisles at times. Oh, absolutely with that show. Yeah. That's like visiting an old friend. It's, it's been back a number of times and every time it sells out and the audiences leave really happy. It, it's, that's the great story, too, of ABBA's, you know, ABBA's greatest hits, basically, and it's such a great story, too, you know, they're off on a tropical island, and it has that family feel to it, and there's a, a lot of twists within it as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it, but it's told with a lot of humor and a right. big heart, and people have a good time. Yeah, well, we got to talk about the show that's going to follow. That is one of my wife's favorite actors, and that's going to be Will Ferrell. He did the movie Elf, right? That's so right. Now they have the musical, and they're bringing that to the stage. Yeah, it was so great because the movie Elf became such a sort of instant holiday tradition, yeah. and then they pretty quickly made it into a great musical, which carries on that same sort of uh -huh. Heart, you know, heartwarming, lovable, right. you know, family-friendly holiday fair. And it's perfect for that time of year, like you just said, December 20th is going to be the first show, The Elf the Musical. And of course, everybody knows the story about Buddy. He's, he's an elf that turns out he's a human and he's looking for his father. Yeah, he kind of sneaks a ride on Santa's sleigh and makes it to the North Pole and finds he's a little yeah. out of place and right. he gets back to New York and he has some adventures trying to mm -hmm. find his real dad and help New York learn the meaning of Christmas. Well, wow. that sounds like a great show and of course for the holidays it's going to be perfect for the family. You and uh, Bring the grandchildren too because they love, my son loves that show so you know, it, it's a great opportunity to spend some time with the family and, and bring the grandkids. Yeah, kids of all ages. That's right. Rent, I can't believe it's the 20th anniversary. I, that, amazing. I remember when they were just talking about it. It was all over you know, television about how great this new show was, and then that was 20 years ago. Yeah, no, a, a, a number of places I used to work ago, about three different jobs ago, I worked on one of the first productions of Rent, wow. and now here it is coming around, I think, 20th anniversary, is right. it, or 25th? The 20th anyway, anniversary. Anyway, it's been around for a while. And yeah. It, it, it hasn't been here for a while, right. and we're really thrilled to bring back this production. It's, it's a great musical, again, another musical with a great heart and a right. great story of life, seven artists celebrating friendship and creativity in New York yeah. City. It's really terrific, yeah. and it's going to have that special energy of an anniversary production. Right, and that's a great story, too, because it not only talks about the artists, but the way they live together and, and the downtimes that they have, too, and the way oh, yeah. they come together, because when I saw the show, the last time it was here, which was quite some time ago, I mean, it was an impactful show. It actually, you know, it was an emotional show, I think, for the audience as it well. It was very emotional. It's yeah. based on La Boheme, so it has yeah. a great underlying story. <laughs> but uh, don't expect an opera when you come here. <laughs> That's true. Well, let's talk about, unbelievable, January 17th of 2017, you're going to open up the year with Matilda the Musical. Well, that's a wonderful story. A lot of people, it's the story of young Matilda and how she makes her way in the world and, and sort of finds herself and exerts herself as a really strong young woman. But it's not just for families. It's a, it's a really sort of thrilling, exciting, uh, entertaining story for people yeah. of all ages. It's a nice date night. night too, right? Nice date night. Yeah. It's based on a great Ronald Dahl story right. a lot of people will be familiar with. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss Matilda. And again, it's another big hit show coming out of New York City. Right. And then you have in February, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. That's, uh, that's something that hasn't been here, I don't believe. Yeah, that's a center premiere. In, uh -huh. in fact, pretty much everything we're doing this year is a center premiere. Uh -huh. We're bringing a lot of new treats back to Orange right. County. But A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder is a uh, 
It's, it's almost impossible to describe it, but it's a, it's a mystery thriller. Uh, there's uh, someone who's trying to get an inheritance, and right. the best way to get it is through a lot of murder. <laughs> exactly. And uh, so we, we watch that, that mystery unfold, and it's, and it's amazing virtuosic performances, great, great music, and that won many, many awards, including the Tony Award. Right. And it's interesting, I re was reading the storyline on it, the gentleman that the actor plays what eight eight different people That's right. that happen to have to get murdered so this other guy inherits is the fortune of this uh, of this family so yeah he's <laughs> non-stop millions of costume changes he's he, it's an amazing role yeah. wait do you wait do you see that performance that sounds like a lot of fun right, right there finding neverland of course the wonderful story of peter pan is That's always right. nice to see yeah it's it's really it's, it's sort of multiple parts to it it's the origin of peter pan how how jm barry got the inspiration to write it he met a, a beautiful widow with four children and they mm -hmm. had these mystery, you know, fantasy stories, and that just yeah. inspired him to write Peter Pan. But then he sort of takes the leap and goes to Wonderland himself, and it becomes this magical, heartwarming right. story. It's really yeah. terrific. And I think that's a story, of course, everybody remembers as a child, and now we've taken our children to see those shows. Oh, yeah. It's always nice to do that and bring, bring that story back to us. You can't lose with a story about boys that never grow up. <laughs> that's huh? true. An that's American us. in Paris, that's April 25th, and uh, this is a new Tony Award winning musical, and, and obviously about an American soldier. It's about an American soldier in uh, post-war um, World War II mm -hmm. Paris and a mysterious woman and, and, and the life they make for themselves after the war. And it, the, the star of that show, I really think, is two things. One is Extraordinary Dancing by mm -hmm. Christopher Wheeldon, and the other is the great, great music by Gershwin. Wow. You that's, can't lose. Yeah, that's going to be a terrific show coming in April. That's April 25th through May 7th, so that's a nice run. The Bodyguard follows that, and, and a lot of people remember that from the Kevin Costner movie, and now they've adopted that to the stage as well. That's right. That has uh, many, many familiar film, uh, tunes from the right. movie. It's a wonderful story about a bodyguard of right. a great rock star, and um, Whitney Houston played it in the movie, That's right. and those two had great chemistry, and then sh and there's fantastic songs for the lead actress, mm -hmm. and it'll 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 feel that same sort of excitement and, and mystery and entertainment of the movie. Is that show, are the actors and the leads already established for shows like that prior to coming to, say, California, or do they th kind of change as the season goes on? Well, most of the time when a show like that goes out on tour, mm -hmm. they hire the absolute top actors out of New York and Los Angeles, mm -hmm. usually, mm -hmm. and then they stay with the show most of the time. Wow. And they'll certainly, the top choices will stay with the show when it comes here because we're considered a very prestigious engagement for touring shows. Absolutely. We're Sounds lucky in that regard. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's, that is true. That's, that's the nice thing about coming and seeing a show in Costa Mesa. It's as if you are seeing the New York ensemble, you're seeing the Los Angeles ensemble, so it's, it's, it's a big deal. That's right, and sometimes I think the cast are even better when they go on tour yeah. because they have a chance to tweak the show a little bit right. after it leaves Broadway and they right. tighten some things up. And again, we always get the first cast, so yeah, there's a lot to great. look forward to. Well, let's talk about Fun Home. That's something different. You're going to have to tell me a little bit about that one. Fun Home? Yeah. This is a really, it's actually a really interesting, and I guarantee you people will find it as an unexpected movie, unexpected musical. Uh -huh. It's a dark comedy. It's a drama. It has music that you will never forget. It won a lot of awards. And it's the story of a young woman, three different ages, as she views other adults in her life and herself growing up through the ages. You're going to check this one out. And for our last show for 2016 in the 2017 Broadway series is, is kind of a long one. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, uh, that I think is new to the center as well. That's new to the center. It's, it's the first time it's ever done a national tour. Uh -huh. It's a play. It's based on a, a huge hit book. And I actually saw it on Broadway. I was wow. very lucky to see it. Yeah. It is the most exciting play I've ever seen on Broadway. It's a thrilling story about this young boy. He's actually accused of murdering a dog. And it's his, it's the mystery of him trying to unravel what happened and, and his sort of challenges of making his way through his wow. own life. Wow. The, the theatrical design is just brilliant. Mm -hmm. People are going to be really thrilled with this one. Wow. Well, usually when I get a chance to talk to you, I always say, okay, what are you bringing for the next season? And you usually can't tell me because you're working on it, right? Right. You now have put the 2016-2017 series together, obviously some great performances. Which one of those did you really say, I need that one as part of this season? Well, certainly The Curious Incident of the Dog at Night. Right. You American really like in Paris, one. fantastic. Uh -huh. Elf, I think, is going to be a great holiday show. It, it's kind of hard to pick this time yeah. around. They're like your children, right? You, <laughs> every they're year they're your children, and you're hoping that they do well. And, we hope they do they, well all year. <laughs> exactly. Well, it sounds like a great Broadway series. Obviously, people can get tickets now. They can either go on the website, which is scfta.org, 
or give them a call here at the ticket box office, 714-556-ARTS, and they'll be glad to get you that information as well. Thanks so much for joining us once again on the Entertainment Corner. A great season ahead. We're looking forward to October and, and the wonderful Broadway series that's coming to the Sigurdsson Center for the Arts. People are welcome. To